Welcome into AZ Audibles. I'm Haley Stasiak, and we've got the Audibles crew, Eric Sorensen and Jordan Ham. We're out here at ASU at one of ASU's many showcase camps this summer. Tyler Shuck is out here, Hamilton quarterback. He was out at the Elite 11, and Jordan got the chance to catch up with him today. Here with Hamilton quarterback Tyler Shuck, straight off of the Elite 11 finals. You got open. First off, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, what was the we weekend like for you? Uh, it, was, it was amazing. It's kind of mind blowing. It was a surreal experience. I had a lot of fun. You know, my goal is just to learn a lot, compete with those guys, and you know, eventually get that invite. So, you know, pretty much all my goals were accomplished. And uh, but there's a lot of work to be done. You know, there's still another step in the process, and I'm just gonna go have fun. So much of it is about on the field, but also plenty off studying film, uh, talking about being leaders and, and things like that. What what happened off the field in that weekend? Yeah, correct. I mean, I think that's part of the reason why I did pretty well is, you know, off the field stuff, you know, the mental aspect of it is uh, you know equally as important, if not more. So, I mean, I, I studied up a lot. I knew my playbook. I, I kind of I thought I did pretty well in the interviews. So they do NFL combine interviews and uh, I had a lot of fun with that. So, I mean, you have to make the throws, you know, everyone has talent there, but I think what can separate you is kind of that mental aspect of it. Going in, you were more of the one of the under the radar guys. Did, yeah. you, did you come in with more of a chip on your shoulder or something to prove? Um, I guess you could say so. I mean, I was just trying to have fun, you know. I knew my worth and I was just kind of prove it to myself, not to basically everyone else, because I knew if I, if I could prove myself right, then you know, nothing else would really matter. And the goal was just to have fun and, you know, it went well. You're headed into the opening as well as Solomon Enos and Gunnar Romney. Yeah. Uh, three guys, that doesn't happen very often. What does that say about the state of Arizona as a football state? Yeah, it's Sam, um, you know, we're going to be putting it on the map and we're just going to rep it the best we can and just have a lot of fun. Uh, it's a pretty cool experience to go out, go out there with those guys because, you know, I'm starting to get to know them well and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You were able to go to toe to toe against some of the best quarterbacks in the entire nation. What did that say about your game and what do you need to improve upon uh, moving forward? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it said a lot, you know, because I mean, you always get that competitive aspect of it. You get to see those guys in person for sure. And uh, I think it just shows that, you know, um, you know, I'm, I can still be on that level. I compete on that level for sure. And uh, I mean, what I can improve on is just, you know, the little things more, you know, I could I could do some of those bigger things where I can make those big throws, some of the off of the field stuff, but just kind of perfecting my craft and perfecting my mind because, you know, we talked about perfecting your body, mind and craft. So, uh, you know, right now I got to work on all three and just, you know, be the best quarterback I can. Really enjoyed getting to talk to Tyler and what I learned from the Elite 11 staff is they believe he's a top five talent in this quarterback class. So he's really had a meteoric rise the past few months. Looking forward to seeing Tyler continue to develop this summer. Who are some other guys that we're going to be watching this summer? For me, it's Liberty quarterback, now quarterback, Ryan Bendel. This guy had 13 touchdowns last season as a slot receiver, also got some carries out of the backfield. He's going to be making the transition for the Lions, who went 7-4 and four last year. Skyline's Aaron Wood had a pretty good 2016. He had 876 rushing yards, 87 receiving yards. These seven on seven camps are gonna be good for him because he can work on that passing game as well as the rest of the Coyotes football team. They run, they rely pretty heavily on that run game. Yeah, and especially Wood's gonna have to have a big year. TJ Duarte, their now former quarterback, was a real dual threat. And one of those schools that is just always competitive as we've talked about, they've sort of flown under the radar, but they're usually a double digit win team. I'm going to be taking a look at Horizon. They have such good players down in the trenches on both sides of the ball. Isaiah Mersalat and Justin Segura. These are guys that are getting looks at the next level, and they're really setting the tone. We saw the turnaround that Horizon was starting to have last year. I think they're going to take it to the next level, and it's going to be because of those two guys in the trenches. AZ Audibles on location here in Tempe. Be sure to check out Eric's zone read and more of our high school football content on Sports360AZ.com. We'll see you next time.